Hey you guys, this is just a real quick tutorial showing you how to do today's assignment in case you miss class today or you want to go back and review. So we've already done the first three steps and we are moving on to the fourth step. That's where we're going to start. So we're going to go to this link, Class Jamboard Assignments. We're going to click on it. You're going to find your Jamboard number and your frame number. So we're going to click on it and I'll walk you through it. So you'll see that the first column is names. The second one says Jamboard number and the third one says frame number. So you scroll down until you see your name. I'm down here. Uh, my name is Dina Rennick and my Jamboard number is one and my frame number is five. So that's always what it's going to be. I'll always be Jamboard one, frame five for the whole semester. So then I go back and number five says, click on your assigned Jamboard and follow the instructions on frame number four. I'm Jamboard one, frame five, so I go to Jamboard one and I click on it. And that takes me to the first Jamboard. Then the instruction said, go to frame four to find out what to do. So I'm gonna go over and here's the instructions. The first thing it says to do is make a sticky note with your name and block on your assigned frame number. And remember, I'm frame five, so I'm going to make a sticky note just like we did the first time. Save it. And then slide it to the corner. So step one is done. Then we go and we look at step number two. Choose an image from the first three pages of this jam, and you're going to copy and paste it onto your jam. So I'm going to go over. Remember, we've already looked at all of these, and you've thought about which one you really respond to that inspires you, and you're going to choose that one because we're going to talk about it and use this for several projects throughout the next few days. So I'm going to click on this one, and I'm hitting Control-C. Go back to my frame click on it, and then hit Control V. That's it, and now we go back, and then number four says resize the image to fill your jam page. Now it's small, but we want it to be really nice and big because we're gonna use it for several things. So we put it there, click on it, and then you see the little arrow? Pull that arrow down until it makes your image nice and big and fill up the frame. Then we go back, step number five, make a sticky note and list which of the six types of lines you see. So we have, remember last time we talked about vertical, horizontal, diagonal, zigzag, curvy, and implied. So which ones of those do you see? Probably more than one kind. So I'm gonna look and there's really not much truly vertical lines and there's really not a lot of horizontal. And the only diagonal ones I really see are the back of her head, and on her nose. So I could put diagonal, maybe I will. And then I see a lot of lines that swirl around and those are curvy lines. So now we're taking these words and these lines that we learned about and seeing how they're used in art. So I'm gonna put diagonal and curvy, but I see one other kind of line. When I look at our necklace, it's kind of like a line but it's not connected really. It's a series of circles, kind of like the dots on the road. So I'm gonna say, make my sticky note. I'm gonna say that I see diagonal and curvy and implied. Save that, click off of it, slide it over here so it's off the picture. And then I have finished all of the steps I'm done. I don't have to save it, it's on a Jamboard, it automatically saves, so then the teacher is gonna download it and grade it to make sure that you've done it for today. If you love your assignment or you just wanna have proof that you did it or you wanna show folks what you've been working on, go to these three dots at the corner, click on it, three down it says save frame as image, and if you choose that, and we'll save it, download it on your computer, and then you can have it. It's yours. So that's all you do for today. Tomorrow we're going to work more with Jamboard and self-portraits and lines. So take care of that. Let us know if you have any questions, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.